Come June 13 next week, Prime Minister Bennett and his so-called changed government will have completed their first year in power. But if recent events are any indication, there may not be a second year. There may not even be a 13th month. So here for a deep dive, Israeli journalist, attorney and author Ben Doriamini and Yoni Ben Menachem, journalist and senior research fellow with the Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs. Thank you both so, so much for joining us. Now, I want to start with uh, looking at whether or not the government has actually been positively effective in this past year. Bennett is, of course, touting his government's accomplishments, including reducing crime and terrorism. Is this a fair attribution, though, or is Bennett's government maybe just a beneficiary of coincidental happenstance? Yoni, I'll start with you. I think they are doing the best uh, they can, but uh, I think that uh, on the matter of uh, terrorism, uh, they are missing a very important uh, point, uh, and this is the, what is happening in the north of uh, Samaria area in the West Bank, in the um, what, what we call Jenin area, the city of Jenin, the refugee camp uh, next to it, and the uh, other villages in this area, they are full of hundreds of armed uh, terrorists. And uh, for some reason, uh, this government uh, is not doing enough to uh, eliminate uh, this uh, very dangerous phenomena. And it's going to affect us in the future. What is needed is a large uh, scale operation of the IDF uh, to occupy uh, temporarily this area and uh, fight the terrorism and dismantle the terror infrastructure and uh, unfortunately, the government is not doing that. Andrew? Uh, well, we know this phenomena of uh, so many armed uh, youngsters, terrorists, uh, uh, mainly in Jenin, but not only in Jenin, but it's not something new. It's something which uh, uh, we can watch for so many years. I mean, uh, at least 10 years, maybe even more. Yes, they are there. They, it, the whole phenomena was neglected uh, so many years. Um, and nothing to do with this uh, current uh, government, which I think is doing a bit more uh, comparing to uh, the previous uh, uh, government. So, uh, so I mean, I cannot, uh, I cannot single out what we see now and we see more uh, and say, wow, this is the fault of this government. No, it's not the case. It's not the case. The case is that we have in in all governments we have a problem of uh, maybe maybe we should not do it now maybe we should uh, let uh, things uh, be better uh, i don't know how but they think it will uh, and and we have to remember just one thing i mean all governments all governments in most cases they do just exactly what the uh, military is telling them to do I mean, it's quite rare to think that the government will do something which is not accepted or actually recommended uh, by the chief of staff and, and, and the others. So, I so think, uh, as it's, far it's as I know, yeah, so it's nothing to do with the government, I think. Right, ben so, Dror, yeah. as far as I know, the chief of staff, Kohavi, he recommended the political echelon to make such a large scale mm. uh, operation in Jenin area, and they refused. Uh, for some reason, they decided to uh, make a few raids every once in a while, but they refused to make a large. Uh, a, a operation in Jenin, and this was the recommendation of a gen, a Major General Kohavi. Well, so so given given these uh, you know cognitive dissonances within the government or, or between government agencies, again, I want to move on to whether or not this government has a future, because several coalition party members uh, and Knesset members are now outside the coalition, or at least voting against it. Can the coalition recover, uh, or is it doomed and soon? It's a good question. I must admit that I don't have a good answer. I don't. I mean, we are all asking uh, ourselves what is going to be uh, next, and we just don't know. And let me tell you something. I'm not sure uh, that our leaders know. I, I'm not sure that Yair Lapid and Naftali Bennett and and uh, Victor Lieberman and others that they know what uh, is going to happen tomorrow. They just don't know. And and we have we are full of surprises. It looks like. It looks like. I mean, now I'm speaking as a commentator that no, no, it's not going to work. 
Hi everyone, it's Emmanuel Kadosh. I wanted to invite you all to subscribe to ILTV Plus, where you can find our daily news and updates about Israel. And not only that, but live feeds, entertainment, our kosher food show, and so much more. Needless to say, your subscription to ILTV Plus helps us grow and create more content while also supporting the state of Israel. Our app is available on all platforms and devices, so I'll see you guys there.